Hey everyone, Caledron here. Just wanted to give you all a quick update and heads up on the state of the channel and some of my current plans. As some of you might be aware of, as I've mentioned this in several episodes throughout the past months, I've had some issues with my eyes these past months. It is not at all serious, in fact it's a rather minor issue where I have to deal with tiny injuries on the cornea on both of my eyes which is caused by eye dryness. I am getting proper medical care for the condition and hopefully it is a temporary condition. The eye condition is however interfering with my goal of having at least three ongoing series on my channel every day and that goal is something that I'm very much committed to so having this as an ongoing thing is quite annoying to me. These eye issues have been going on since the end of October and as those of you who have followed my channel are aware of, the condition hasn't made a serious impact on the goal. I do take regular breaks from my monitors to allow my eyes to rest and I've also adjusted the monitors to be in a lower position so that I don't look up when I use the computer. However, I occasionally do get very runny eyes, probably and hopefully because the injuries are healing. Those situations usually last from a day or up to three or even four days and while one of one or both of my eyes are like that it is very difficult for me to record as the brightness of the screen which is even turned down significantly both in the monitor hardware and also further by efflux which makes my monitors appear quite yellow which I find quite comfortable. It's um, it's painful uh, because I get light sensitive or brightness sensitive. So if I don't have any pre-recorded videos, which is what has happened the past few days, I do struggle a bit with releasing content. So there will sadly be some days where I can't release an episode of a specific series, or maybe even some days where I can't release any episodes at all. But that is just a temporary situation, because I need to rest my eyes completely on those kinds of days, and more videos on my series will come as soon as my eyes are better again. Please also be aware of the fact that this is the reason I haven't been um, very diligent in responding to your comments as quickly as I usually have been doing in the past. I read all of your comments on my phone, but sitting down and responding to them is something that I can only do on the days that my eyes are not irritated, and I always prioritize recording before responding to the comments, as I feel that having the videos on the channel is the most important thing. So please do not think that I don't read the comments, and please keep them coming, because I do appreci the, appreciate them very much. And you will get a response to your comments as soon as I'm able to, or maybe I even do respond to them or refer to them in the actual recordings, um, as I've done with several of the comments that I've gotten. So thank you all so much for your patience and support when it comes to that. Now, on to the plans for the channel. I am very much enjoying uh, the Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign that I'm playing. I'm actually up to episode 90 in that series. It is without a doubt the longest series that I've ever had on the channel, and I expect it to go well above 100 episodes before I complete the campaign. For those who are following that series, I do not intend to level up my characters to the max level, which is level 20, but I will rather just continue as I have been doing, which is to say doing all of the quests and clear the various locations in the regions, and then move on into the end game when the time comes, regardless of my character level. It is uh, probably still some time off before I'm done with Pathfinder Kingmaker. But since I do enjoy having an ongoing role-playing game on the channel, I have been considering playing Divinity Original Sin 2 as the next RPG series when I'm done with Pathfinder Kingmaker. And then we have Stellaris, which I am enjoying very much. Uh, it's been a very long time since I played the game and it's been very very fun so far. Early game Stellaris has a lot of content when it comes to uh, events and stuff for me to read. But I'm now progressing into the mid-game, and that means that the game will change more into war and expansion, and there will be less events for me to read. And that's particularly uh, a fact when it comes to the specific race build that I'm playing. 
who has the humble and friendly goal of eating all of the other races around as lunch and dinner and supper and all the kinds of meals. And then of course they just want to be the sole surviving race of the galaxy. But yeah, I'm enjoying it very much. <clears throat> that might sound wrong, but yeah, I, I, you, you probably get the point. Then again, I have to make a small disclaimer though. Uh, Paradox announced a rather large new DLC for Stellaris last year, which is called Federations. And if Federations arrive before I have reached a natural end point for the current series, I sadly will have to end it and then start a new series with Federations instead. Uh, the reason for that is that there is so many changes to the game in Federation that the update, which is mandatory, I believe, will break the mods that I'm playing with. And it is also a DLC that I am very much looking forward to, especially with all of the new revamped dipl diplomacy systems that they are introducing. And particularly, of course, they are revamping the Federations themselves. And playing as a race who isn't interested in talking to other races at all, um, except for asking them what kind of spice they go best with, that kind of defeats the purpose of all of the changes that they are introducing into Stellaris with that particular DLC. Now, Paradox originally intended to release Federations in late 2019, and then they postponed it without any kind of release date. So, as of now, the release date is still unknown. Um, for all we know, the DLC might not arrive until spring or even late spring. And I do not expect that the Stellaris campaign that I'm currently playing will last for several months, so hopefully I will get to a natural end point before Federation or Federations arrive. Someone has also asked me if I do intend to uh, play more Frostpunk, and the answer to that is a resounding yes, as I am really loving that game. I would both like to try to replay the last autumn scenario, where I would prefer to go into the engineer law tree instead of the worker tree as I did in my first playthrough, but this time uh, I will avoid the extreme laws, that is, the, the, the final laws in the tree because those uh, involves crossing the line. And for those of you who did watch my The Last Autumn series, you know exactly how much that line was crossed there. But I'm also curious about the new endless mode that they have added. Uh, you get to build the generator in a settlement. Um, I did try it a little bit on my own, and I realized that it's a quite interesting challenge, as you have to deal with the regular icy cold snow landscapes of the classic Frostpunk uh, experience, but you do not have a generator. I was looking at temperatures down to minus 40 degrees Celsius, and without a generator to heat up the buildings, that should be quite an interesting challenge indeed. Furthermore, I am eagerly awaiting the next milestone patch to Godhood, which should arrive sometime before spring. I've been following the communi community post updates that the developer is releasing on Steam, and they all look quite promising. They, they are revamping several of the game mechanics, and they're also adding a ton of new stuff to the game, so do expect a return of uh, some variation of the Cult of Tentacles uh, in Godhood as soon as the uh, next milestone patch arrives. There is also a major update to the Universum that's going on. Um, I'm definitely considering playing that, as it's been quite some time since I played the game, and I did enjoy the universe in very much back when I played it, and that was before they even had modern time added, so since then, even without the uh, patch they are working on now, um, there is quite a bit more content to the game than there was in the uh, series that I did. Now, um, Catherine and I am also very much committed to making a Factorio 0.18 series, of course, but we've had to postpone that a little bit. But it is coming as soon as we are both able to. Then we have the uh, retro game idea that I mentioned in my last poll. Um, quite a few of you responded that you would like me to play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. but. I'm holding off a little bit, because I recently saw that uh, 
there are some remastered versions of those games in the works so depending on whether or not that is just hearsay and rumors or if it's an actual thing um, I would like to see when potential updates uh, for like you know release dates and stuff like that um, are coming out before I commit to recording the old versions of the game but for now there is still plenty of stuff for me to record so if you enjoyed the poll idea I am uh, very much happy to redo more polls later this winter Feel free to leave any suggestions that you might have for games in the comment sections to this video or join me in the Discord um, if there is something in particular, particular that you would like me to take a look at. You can find the link to the Discord server in the description of this video if you're not already there. And of course, do not be afraid to send me a private message if you want to. So thank you so much for joining me, for your continued support and for following my channel. And I will see you all next time.